we're going to do today is we are going to pair a Q3 to a PackTalk. We get this request a lot. People upgrade from a Q3 to a PackTalk. They want to make sure that they can still talk to their friends who haven't upgraded. So they call up and the answer simply is yes. So let's show that process. So firstly we're going to turn on the Q3. Now one very important thing we don't know if these two units have paired to other units, so we're going to start with a reset. Let's do the one on the pack talk. I've covered this before, but it's always good to remind people, always start with a reset if you don't know what the unit has paired with it previously. So that's going to be three buttons. And on the Q3, we push the volume up to put it into pairing with a uh, phone pairing mode. And then we push the phone button until we get the purple lights. Goodbye. That's it. After the reset, both units will shut down. So let's turn the pack talk back on. Hello, pack talk, Bluetooth, intercom, mode. And we'll turn the Q3 back on. Now, as I covered in the G9X video, we can pair channel A or B to channel A or B. In this case, though, we're going to just use channel A on both. And to do so, simply push and hold the intercom button. Push and hold. Don't let go. Keep Rider holding. There it goes. Pairing. Now, we just wait for the red lights to stop flashing. It'll happen any second now. Might actually fast forward just a little bit. Paired successfully. And we have paired successfully. Now, as I've mentioned on other videos, the devices are paired, but the intercom is not active until we switch it on. So to do so, we'll push the button. Not available. Ah, if it says not available, easy fix to that. Push the button on here. And there it goes. We are now paired. Simple as that.